You know, it just uh, it, it just kind of reminds you of of when you know, in this case, post-war Germany, people kind of making do with what they had. Yeah, you were given a little uh, bit of history uh, earlier. Yeah, well, in, in fact, I think we're probably being joined by someone that can do a better job of that yeah, than I can. Yeah, we got the BMW right here. Megan McSherry. Hi. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thanks for coming on. We were just talking about the uh, setup behind us is, is really the star of the show with all the with, with, with all the, with all the American muscle, with all the uh, classic foreign cars. Uh, that's drawing the crowds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've had a lot of people come over to our tent and say, there's one BMW that looks like the i3. They come down our way, and we've <laughs> got a brand new i3 over there. So... It's, it's definitely been bringing a lot of traction. You can and see the different generations of BMW. Exactly. It's, a, it's funny, actually. Um, right now, it's the 40 years of an icon for the 3 Series, which means the 40 years is exactly how long our 3 Series has been out. Oh, wow. Which so is 1975. Funny. 1975, which is funny that this is a 70s theme. Yeah, it coincides perfectly with exactly. it. Exactly. And on top of that, the first ever BMW electric car came out in 1972. There you go. Right, we think of electric cars <laughs> as being like this, this modern uh, thing, but uh, but it, but it's not. I mean, th these companies have been innovating for a very long time. Exactly. It was actually used to lead the marathon runners in the Olympic Games in 1972 in Munich. Oh wow! Oddly oh. enough. There so we go. You learn something new every day. Absolutely. <laughs> so you're like the BMW historian. <laughs> yes, yes. I have a lot of uh, information, especially on these cars I brought today. So <laughs> that is my job, after all. And what are some of the other cars that you guys brought? How many do you have here? We have two today. We have a 328i, which is a great 3 Series, one of our most popular cars. It um, flies off the shelves, basically. The i3 is the other one that we brought, an i3 with a range extender. It's a brand new all-electric vehicle that actually also is doing very well right now because Connecticut just introduced a rebate program. Oh, to buy electric cars. To buy electric cars on top of the federal incentive. So there's about $10,500 available to take off of that vehicle right now. Wow. Wow. Talk about an incentive. Absolutely. You, you, can barely, you can barely afford not to. Yeah. A Connecticut residents could lease one for potentially $172 a month right now. Wow. Which is less than a lot of cars, and you still get all of the wonderful BMW. And, and it's a BMW. Yeah, yeah it's that's, a BMW. Uh, that, exactly. that's amazing. Exactly. So, so we've had a lot of people coming by our tent and uh, checking it out. Really, really enjoying that i3. And now you mentioned the electric. It, you have to charge it all the time, or how often do you have to charge it? So that car, if it is completely empty, no charge whatsoever, it'll take six hours to charge all the way. Okay. So that one specifically is a range extender. Your average i3 will go about 150 miles. It's 25 miles per hour of charge, but the range extender gives you an extra 25 miles. It is basically a small tank of gas that the car doesn't run off of. It's not a hybrid, but that small tank of gas acts as a generator to power the battery when it gets to low levels. Okay. So it, it's definitely a longer range than a lot of your average electric vehicles. Right. And that's one of the things I really enjoy about uh, about cars, you know, the car hobby. We've got the car show going on behind us. Is the is like the, the the remarkable level of innovation that goes into these things. It, it's uh, it, it really is amazing, and uh, and, and you know, I mean, every, every 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 couple of years, you think to yourself, wow, like they they, they, they can't possibly get more advanced than this, and then, yes. and then two years later, and then two years later, the car you're driving is obsolete. It's amazing. Yes, and then they do. It's like the iPhone. There's always something new. <laughs> <laughs> and so, what else is new that's going on at the BMW of Richfield? A lot, actually. We have a ton of new specials. We introduced a showroom specials page on our site so that you can now see all of the vehicles that are currently in our showroom. Oh, nice. Many of them are. And it's such a nice showroom. Yes. Uh, for yes. those who haven't been there, I highly recommend it. It's great. Absolutely. It was uh, rebuilt by the current owner, Ed Miguel, who took over, completely renovated the place, and. Uh, it, it definitely is a, a high standard. Yeah. So we keep all of our best cars in there, all of our best deals, and you can access it right on the website. There's a tab underneath our specials for showroom. You know, you yeah, mentioned so the high st uh, the high standard, and one of the things I, uh, I I don't actually own a BMW, but I've driven them on a, on a couple of occasions. And one of the things that I that I that always amazes me every time, and I mean like without exception, every single time I drive a six cylinder BMW is just how smooth it is. It's like. It's it's almost like you know you you pull up to a stop you pull up to a stop sign and you almost want to turn the key. Again. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ultimate driving machine. It, it, but, 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 but then the thing is like it's 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 silent and smooth when you want it to be, and then it's it also it, it's 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 kind of not, not not loud, but it's uh it, it's raspy when you want it to be. Right, it's powerful. It, it, it feels good to drive. You can it, it show does. it off when you want to show it off. Exactly, and that's one of the biggest things with BMW is our performance. That's probably top priority, I would say. You know, the people who drive BMWs really love to just 
zoom on the highway and really feel that car go. Oh, oh, so. oh, 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 go for every, a nice summer every, drive. Every, every, every entrance ramp is an invitation. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You should we be actually. marketing for BMW. Man. That was great. I, 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 do, uh, I do enjoy driving. Yeah, join our team. <laughs> You're like Don Draper there coming up with the advertisement right there on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a gift, you know? It's like, uh, when, it's you, when you're an enthusiast, it just kind of comes naturally, I suppose. There you go. And hey, look at that. The sun has yeah, finally poked sun through. All oh, right. So, I, can, I can bring out the linen shades. <laughs> I was, uh, with our 70s theme. There you go. Yeah, you, you brought the sun with you. You brought the BMWs with you. Uh, what else? Bring in the sunshine. <laughs> you, mentioned, you mentioned the uh, the showroom, and people uh, can take a look. Where can they uh, where, where can they find that on the web? Well, if you go onto our main page of our website, there is a link in the top page banner that will lead you to our showroom specials as well as our, as our July Lee specials. And the other option is that I think it's the fourth tab over on our menu bar. You see specials. It'll show you all of the current service specials, showroom specials, lease specials, pre-owned, and CPO. So there is always a deal on every every area of the cars. Awesome. And where yes. are you guys Where are you guys today? You're down, uh, down the street a little bit? We are down in space 33, probably about 20 tenths over from here. It is a, a slightly larger space since we have the two vehicles. Um, you know, the one with lots of people around it. People around it. The, one, the, one, the, the one with the nice cars. It's, the uh, one with the nice cars. Yes. So, um, w- you know, we're gaining a lot of traction today. It's actually great because we just had an event at the dealership the other day called Drive for Team USA. Oh, nice. We are a, usually a sponsor for the Olympics, and um, they do this event where they bring down different vehicles from our competitors as well as different BMWs and give people the opportunity to test drive and zoom down Route 7 and test out just exactly how good the performance is. So a lot of people have been wanting to do that today. And it's a good area to test it out. <laughs> what, nice what's your favorite away. BMW to drive? Oh, that's a tough one. I, I know. It's, it's like asking which one of your kids you like the best. It, it <laughs> is. It is. Um, I would... It's a tie, actually. The 650, mm-hmm. I happen to love yeah. the convertible. <laughs> it's, it's definitely a fun one to drive. It will go as soon as you punch it. Um, fascinatingly enough, the i3 is my other favorite. It is technically the fastest 0 to 60 BMW that we are currently in production with now. Oh, wow. Because wow. it's all electric. Electric vehicles tend to right. be more zippy. Ma- ma- maximum torque at 1 RPM, uh, an electric vehicle does. There you go. Yeah, so it, it's funny. The i3 drives differently. It has a three-stage pedal. So with the gas, if you have your foot down all the way, you're accelerating. If you're halfway on your coasting, if you remove your foot from the gas pedal, it breaks the car. Oh, wow. There's also a brake so you can actually <laughs> stop, but it does start to slow you down. So it's a different way of driving, but it's definitely fun. And you've driven it before. Is it difficult to learn or is it pretty simple? I would say that it's not difficult to learn. It's definitely different from what you're used to, sure. but I drove it down here today, actually. Oh, you, and, had, you uh, had the pleasure of driving it down? Absolutely. Oh, I get awesome. to drive all sorts of BMWs. <laughs> what a job. <laughs> yes, it is a fun job, for sure. I mean, it, it's a great company to be with. They're very innovative and progressive all the time. So so we love doing events like this and, and really showing that off to everyone, for everyone else to appreciate. Yeah, and it's a great venue to be doing it in. Absolutely. Megan, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you so much for having me. I I really enjoyed it. Yep.